Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Writing Correct.JSP, a component for our MVC guessing game example. In this video, we'll review the guessing game example, MVC version, and how the Correct.JSP component fits in. You'll learn how to include a Java server page within an MVC application using the Eclipse IDE. In the spirit of thinking before coding, let's review the guessing game. Craig the Game Master will think of a secret number and initialize the game. He'll ask Nick, the player of games, to guess a number between 0 and 1000. Nick will make a series of guesses. Each time, Craig will respond with whether the guess is correct or incorrect. If the guess is incorrect, Craig will let Nick know whether to guess higher or lower. Eventually, Nick will guess the correct answer, in which case Craig will respond with how many guesses it took Nick to guess the answer. Here we see a diagram showing the flow of control and the various components that will make this game work. An initial request will come in to start the game. We'll hit the index.jsp component. Index.jsp component will be responsible for initializing the game and setting a random target. It will also be responsible for passing the first view back to the client in order to get the first guess from the player. When the player on the client side has made their first guess and submits their form, this will hit the game servlet. The game servlet is the primary engine running this game. It will be responsible for comparing each guess with the target and then determining what the proper response should be. If the guess is incorrect, game servlet will pass control over to guess.jsp which will display the appropriate message and a form to allow for the next guess. If game servlet determines that the guess is correct, it will pass control over to correct.jsp which will be responsible for providing the final view showing the number of guesses that it took to get the correct answer. Along the way, we'll use the game number component to represent all the values in this game. Here's our workflow view, coupled with some simple wireframes. In this video, we are focusing on the correct.jsp component. The correct.jsp component will be responsible for the final view. We can see here that this will include a message for the page, a congratulations message, and some type of component that will allow the user to play again. As we focus on the correct.jsp component, it's helpful to look at it in an IPO table format. Here we see that the primary responsibility for correct.jsp is to provide the view that shows the final results. This will include a welcome message, a congratulations message, and some kind of component that allows the player to play again. The final destination will be back to the index.jsp to start a new game. To get this view, we'll need a couple of inputs. Primarily, we'll need the number of guesses, and we'll need the appropriate message. These will be provided from the game servlet on the input side. So our process is going to be very simple. We'll get these inputs, and then we'll use them to create the appropriate view, as shown in the wireframe here. So here we are back in Eclipse. Let's double click to make the page fill the screen. And let's put in our Java code to get the attribute. Message is a string, recall, and it's set as an attribute. So we can do request.get attribute message. We want to store it locally as a string. and we see that there is a type mismatch because once again an attribute is always a general object and we need to cast it back to the object that we need. For the title, let's copy this a little bit from our previous title. Let's put the results. Our body. Let's put a headline that's exactly the same as the title. 
We only need a couple things in the body here. We need to provide the message. Recall we can do a special JSP print tag. Let's wrap that in a paragraph. And finally, in another paragraph, let's put a hyperlink back to the index page. Let's exhort them to play again. That's all there is to it in this view. We got our string, which is the message as an attribute and we displayed it in HTML. Pretty simple. For more information about the concepts that you learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. Background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy Production.